the GOP and Congress wanted to pass a rule stating that illegal immigrants cannot vote in the presidential elections and that states would have to implement security features in order to make sure that illegal immigrants could not vote in elections, which basically would mean they'd have to show ID. Sounds great. Even if you're saying that there are no illegal immigrants voting in elections, it shouldn't matter. Because they aren't voting, so why do you care? It's called the SAVE Act, and Congress, at least some GOP in the Congress, some Republicans in the Congress had a great idea of putting this together, bundling it with the spending bill, the continuing re resolution, the C CR, that was going to be passed in order to continue funding the government for the next few months. And if Democrats would not pass it because of the SAVE Act, they'd have to explain to the Americans why they are so against it. Why are they so against a law forcing illegal immigrants not to vote in our elections? Now, the GOP is full of Democrats, and so 14 Republicans voted against this, passing the law without passing the continuing resolution without the SAVE Act. Because Republicans aren't actually conservatives. The conservatives in Congress wanted to make sure that the illegals can vote with the SAVE Act. Republicans, no such thing. That's why I'm not a real Republican. Yes, I make believe a Republican, I'll vote Republican, etc., etc., etc. But I'm not. Because 99% of conservative things, Republicans don't vote for. So they're not really my party. They're just way better than Democrats. But it's kind of ridiculous that everything was said, it was perfect. It was perfect. And then the Republicans went and screwed it up. The Democrats would have had, I mean, they all voted against it. It would have worked out perfectly. But then they just screwed it up again. I mean, it, it's so frustrating. I didn't want to talk about it, but here I am talking about it. This election, you're going to see illegal immigrants vote. It's going to come out in like four or five years. They're going to come out documents, proof, video, etc. Admissions. It won't matter by then. Because the election will have happened four or five years beforehand. And, uh, well, you're going to lose from it. I'm going to lose from it. And uh, Donald Trump, well, who knows if he'll get elected? I don't know. I'm personally working as a poll worker. Still not sure if I'm going to do it. I got a letter for getting taking the, the course. It's a four-hour course. It's in a church. As a Jewish man, I cannot go into a church, which is sinister. You'll have to call them and uh, try to get it scheduled or a different place, something like that. But it's important that you should work as a poll worker. You should sign up right now. It's very important that you be part of the system. Not the Republicans, not the Democrats, not the swamp. Just the actual structures of democracy. Like being a poll worker, which is a completely non-partisan job, which is what I'm going to do, because I'm not really partisan. Yes, I vote Republican, but I don't identify as one. I identify as American and Jewish. See you next video.